We want your knuckles white. We want your pupils dilated. We want to deliver the ultimate adrenaline rush in gaming every time. That is Call of Duty's signature. Number three, easy to play but hard to master. Anyone can play Call of Duty and be having fun 60 seconds after they've picked up the controller. But it's a game where skill and status can only be earned. You've got to fight your way to the top of the leaderboards. You've got to put in the time. The more you play, the better you get, the more powerful you become. And that's what keeps us all coming back. And that was the opening keynote from Call of Duty XP. So I think a lot of guys know I flew out last weekend to Los Angeles from, from outside Raleigh and I got a chance to play Modern Warfare 3. I played it at a competitive level in the million dollar tournament. I played it at kind of a pub level at what they call the gauntlet where you just kind of go through and the winning team moves on and gets to keep playing. And then uh, there were lots of other things like this is the scrapyard paintball event. It's meant to be a semi, uh, like a recreation of the scrapyard map. And in my head I thought it was going to be like a perfect recreation. But in reality it was a, you know, it was a fine recreation and everything everything but it wasn't like I could head glitch the broken plane you know like I had planned on doing so uh so I just took some footage of this so you guys could see uh get some idea of what it was like these guys don't play paintball as aggressively as I do I'd be pushing up and, and flanking them but uh but whatever hey look a guy actually moving how nice is that so um I actually have some recorded footage of Modern Warfare 3 gameplay but I don't think I can use it. You had to get a press pass and then they could use a hapage and give you actual footage. What I have is just an HD camera pointed at a screen which shows you some footage. I don't think it's anything that you guys would have, wouldn't have seen already, but I can talk about Modern Warfare 3. And for that, I'd like to get some feedback. Would You know, I, I, my friend Bash put up a video and people are saying things like, oh, you know, look, a, a commentary about Modern Warfare 3. Like I don't have 10 of those in my sub box already. So on one hand, I value that opinion. On the other hand, you know, there are at least some people in the world who would like to know what I think of Modern Warfare 3. And, you know, I, I also got a chance to play with it competitively in, in the Million Dollar Tournament. So uh, give me some feedback in the comments. Do you want to hear what I have to say about Modern Warfare 3? Or do you feel like you've heard it all before and it's time to talk about, you know, lifeguard stories or something like that? Anyway, let's talk about COD XP. That's the goal of this video. So this is the area in which they set up to play um, Modern Warfare 3, and it's called the Gauntlet. This is a couple YouTubers, if you don't recognize them, from left to right is Dunkus, Optic J, Joostra, and Gold Glove. So uh, uh, th this is the setup they had there. Everyone had their own monitors. Everyone was set up with Astros. And in the Gauntlet, what would happen is you would play, they're playing against the team that you can't see on the left of the screen. Uh, they have an exact same setup. And whoever wins gets to move on to this next stage. And then if you win the whole thing, you get a patch. So I couldn't win the whole thing. Man, I had stacked teams with pros, and then I would run into other stacked teams with pros. I, I made it to the main stage like three or four times. Like it, all I needed to do do was win one more and bring home the patch and um uh... A couple times I made it with just like regular people and, and you know, everything was good. There were a couple times where I was actually the best player on the team and we made it to the finals and, and lost. And then there were other times where I was like, you know, I haven't won this thing yet. I'm going to stack a team with professional MLG level guys. And then sure enough, I, I just happened to bump into other teams with professional MLG level guys and we lost. So I didn't get any gauntlet wins. Um... What do you say? I think it's just bad luck. There were there were worse teams than mine that uh, that won the gauntlet, and there were better teams than mine too. But uh, anyway, this is what I did while I was there. I played a lot of Modern Warfare Three. I didn't do the Jeep ride. I didn't do the zip line. Uh, I did actually do the, the paintball thing because paintball on scrapyard is really cool. But uh, what I really spent all my time doing was trying out different kill streaks, trying out different loadouts, trying different guns, making sure that I knew Modern Warfare 3 as much as I could. I did um, as much fun as it is for me. It's also kind of sort of a business trip because you know I, I want you guys to uh, you know it, it, I, I want you guys to have the benefit of of knowing about Modern Warfare 3 early. I thought these were things that you guys might care about. So that was my out there. I was just um, doing everything I could to uh, to learn about Modern Warfare 3. Uh, what you're looking at on the screen right now is kind of the prelims on how to play Cap the Flag. So if the audio was louder than you would have heard, you know, that they're explaining how to play Cap the Flag, but I think all of you guys already know that. Um, this is the format that they had for, this is the main stage of the million dollar tournament. And the production quality was incredibly high. 
you can see there, there's Optic on the left, and I forget the name of the second place team on the right. And then, you know, one of the boxes will flow into the center, and you get to watch that thing. They did a really, really super job on, on the Million Dollar Tournament. And my boys, Optic won. Got, got to give Optic some love. But, uh, you know, I'm an Optic fanboy and an Envious fanboy. You know, I, I loved Optic when they got fourth, not just when they got first. But congratulations to those guys. They actually brought home $400,000. And a four-man team, obviously, that's a hundred grand each. But that's a really big deal. Most of these guys are between, like, 17 and 20. So it's not just a hundred grand, you know, if used properly, it's this kickstart off to the rest of their life. You know, they may not have college debt. They may have a huge down payment on a home. If they do this right, then it's not just, you know, an awesome weekend in Vegas. It's greasing the skids for, you know, a lifetime of, of, I don't know, just a nice start. You know, what if your mortgage could be lower every month for the next 30 years? That's the opportunity they have in front of them if they spend it correctly. So um, I'm happy that my boys at Optic won the thing. Uh, awesome. Good job, guys. And, and by the way, I loved you when you got fourth. <laughs> don't forget. But, you know, along the lines of doing everything I could to talk to learn about Modern Warfare 3, I thought I'd talk about that a little bit while we watch the uh, the final round here of the Call of Duty XP Million Dollar Tournament, which is really a big deal. So here they are. I think it's S&D. I'm not even sure. But they're trying to, to close this thing out. One thing that Infinity Ward has put into the game that seems to be on the top of everybody's mind, on the tip of everybody's tongue, is Assassin. So uh, what do we have to say about Assassin? Let's get started. Assassin, right? All the guys are talking about Assassin saying Ghost is back and things like that. And it's kind of true. I'd really like to know for sure if Assassin is uh, picked up by the Advanced UAV or not. Every time I touched this game, everyone showed up on the Advanced UAV, which would mean that nobody was running Assassin on the other team. Or it means that the Advanced UAV, which is a lot like the um, the SR-71, you know, the, the, the Blackbird, and uh, it, it's, it's just like the Blackbird. It shows the people, the triangles, the direction that they're looking at. You don't have to wait for sweeps. Um, that's what it is. Except there's some disagreement in the community about whether or not Assassin shows up on the Advanced UAV. I'm not really sure. Every time I used it, I saw every other player. So it made me think that... Um, the, this thing picked up people who were running Assassin. On the other hand, I was, you know, in a room with a lot of really smart commentators, and they were saying, no, 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 you know, Advanced UAV does not pick up people who run Assassin, and they were sure of it. And I'm trying to reconcile how that could be. You know, it could be that I was right, and that the reason they didn't always see four people was a respawn delay. It could be that I'm just wrong, right? That happens a lot. <laughs> that could be it. Um, I don't know, but I, I'd love to get some like really firm feedback on whether or not Advanced UAV picks up Assassin or not. I'm, I'm just not positive anymore because it always did for me. But but what do you say? You know, does it? Does it not? One thing that is absolutely true. One thing that they well, it's hard to say, but the maps are smaller now. We only played four or five different maps, so um, so. You know, there's I think there's 14 maps in the game. I'm not positive about that. But the maps that they showed us were all tight. They're all going to be high action, fun, fun, fun maps. And I'm totally psyched about that. There's no array. Look, they just won. Now they're interviewing. Um, there's no array. There's there's no rust. There's no giant slow, you know, running across the open field like a baby buffalo nonsense uh, on the maps that they showed us. Instead, it was all really cool. So the, their idea of what a medium-sized map is has shrunk compared to uh, what the maps were before. And, and I think that's really nice. And uh, it also seems to make it a little better with the whole UAV situation. I don't know. Like, to me, the, the UAV and shipment didn't mean very much. If you were to take that same theory and apply it to small maps all over the place, it's like, yeah, yeah, you know, it... it you can sort of get away without the UAV more in a small map than you can on a large map because you're not sitting there running across the open again and again. So anyway, I could talk about Modern Warfare 3 and the things I learned and saw all day long. Let me know if that's a video that you would be interested in. And uh, until then, you know, let me leave you with these words from the Call of Duty XP Grand Prize winners. I'm going to tell you a story. You're in college, but you made it very public that you worked at McDonald's for a little while, Nate Shot. You just made 100 grand. How does that feel? 
Okay, and now for two videos you may have missed. Uh, on the left is a pretty good one. I, I brought in my wife to help uh, with Mail Monday this week, and uh, and actually for next week too. I brought it in. I, I broke it into two parts. So uh, so she and I answer questions that came from you guys, and I thought uh, she did a really good job. And then on the right one is a painkiller ready animated antics. It's on the <laughs> if you could bring two things from modern times into the past and kill a hundred Romans, how would you do it? And it turned out pretty funny, so uh, so I used it and uploaded it. So uh, I hope you guys pick one of those videos and enjoy.